door. That's fine. Right. Hello, folks. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to give people a couple more minutes. I know that I always have some people who join slightly on the on the dot and then we can get started. In the meantime, please feel free to access the chat. I will be posting some links in the chat, especially for those of you who uh, are going to be requesting CUs. So please make sure you can access the chat and feel free to say hello and where you're from. I know that sometimes people don't have access to the chat on some devices like mobile phones and so on. So that's why I want to make sure you guys um, can access everything OK on your end before we get going. Hello, West Yorkshire. Hello, London. Hello, Zagreb, Croatia. Oh, my, oh, my. Hello from Jordan. Hello from France. Ah, there we go. We have, we have an Italian. I was wondering. I'm like, surely, surely my neighbors are going to show up. Ciao. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. OK, so let me uh, get started. Uh, welcome, everyone. I'm Thanos Bostanis. I am a lecturer at the Tizard Center at the University of Kent. And at the University of Kent, we do research in supporting individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, and we focus on improving their quality of life. Uh, as part of our work, we offer courses, and uh, our courses are postgraduate, so master's courses in autism and intellectual disabilities, and in applied behavior analysis and positive behavior support. And we have both campus-based and distance learning option. Now, uh, I work with the ADA PBS team, I'm the director, the program director of the Masters in Applied Behavior Analysis and Positive Behavior Support. And as part of, of our work, we de try to disseminate good practice in our field uh, to folks all around the world uh, due to the uh, online nature of our TISART behavioral talks. Now, those of you that don't know about TISART Center, we also have a peer-reviewed journal that focuses on individuals with a learning disability or an intellectual disability. If you're outside the UK, uh, you might be using that term. But we always welcome uh, submissions from folks uh, that work uh, with these populations. So I will put some links in the chat to draw your attention to um, our website and the journal for those of you that might be interested in either one or both. Uh, I will also deliver three keywords for those of you that uh, are collecting I see you. So make sure you note those down. And during the talk and at the end, I will post a link to a Microsoft form, and that's where you're going to add your information and the three keywords. And I will then, um, in due time, email you with uh, your CU certificate. So today uh, we welcome Dr. Francesca Deli Espinoza, and she is going to be talking about uh, a verbal behavior analysis of theory of mind. I'm sure you've read the bio, so I'm not going to read that to you again, but I will ask Francesca to tell us what she's currently working on. Then, Francesca, you take it away, and I'll be in the background supporting. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, currently, I'm uh, mainly working on writing a couple of conceptual papers, as well as my usual work of um, working with families of individuals with autism, mainly young children. The families generally come here. You can see a, a child just left 
my room and so it's a bit of a mess um but um yeah that i have a couple of students currently who i'm in their supervisory committee for their phd and hopefully that will result in some additional um applied papers so in the past few years, I've published a few things on uh, question discrimination, a couple of procedures that have been successful, mainly with master students. I uh, 